Now basically what is doing this script is just following the player <coughs> player movement. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So we have this jump turn here. <coughs> we are saying here camera to well to viewport and we are targeting the target position which is here is the player. <coughs> so this is basically just uh, following the transform. The transform here we are assigning is nothing but the player and, and this is the damp size how fast and how slow the camera should move with the movement of the player if we not assign this script here what will happen let's see now something like this the camera doesn't follow the player right so this is it for this camera controller and now let's talk about the generate world script which is generating the cubes randomly with random size all right so we have a class here sorry not a class we have a method here uh, maintenance with floor player x so here it checks uh, you know a position if player x value is less than sorry if player x value is greater than next j so this will this function will in instantiate here we are saying next check is equal to player x plus 30 and here is a loop a simple loop which is i <coughs> if i is uh, equal to object stored count subtracted it by one so i decreases and we will instantiate here blocks and block here is again nothing but cube we will assign it and and it's just <coughs> just store here in the objects uh, list one is in instantiate and it then destroy it and here we are spawning five objects and we have a variable here, uh, increment here how many which will define how many objects we want and again here we are saying if the block position dot x is less than the uh, the position minus 30 it will destroy so when the objects will move out of the screen it will automatically will be deleted and <coughs> here again we are this uh, code is nothing but we are doing just we are rescaling the objects randomly And here is the block <coughs> and here is the player we have assigned so this is how it works by pressing any key it will move and once it passes through the cubes it will say to restart and what you can do is you can modify the cues you can change the color of it you can place a character instead of this cube you can place buildings or anything else instead of these cubes and you can assign a regular bird or regular any other player instead of this cube this the main player and uh, <coughs> this is nothing again but it, it is just a gui text and which is using to show the score and as i promised i would i will discuss it later so this is updating score int score we are converting this into int you're saying transfer to position dot x the play, player position x we are dividing it by with the generate world distance between objects distance between objects which is yeah 
so we are dividing it with distance so if score is not equal so <clears throat> and if score is greater than zero so it will store that value again it's a very easy game but perhaps in the coding there are some some points you need to understand in detail and but that will take time but one by one i will go and i will summarize what we were doing first of all we had this player control script this is attached to the player and <clears throat> in the start there is a start button press pool pool value which is <clears throat> false so we are using this boolean in this on gui if the if this volume value is false then display this which will it will display but if we press any key this volume value will turn to true and the time dot time scale will be one <coughs> okay and at the start we set the time dot time scale value will be zero so at the start the GUI is showing the time is zero the game is not running but when we press any key this uh, value turns to true and the GUI, uh, GUI tech dot text field which is we are saying do something to start <coughs> will disappear and the time uh, will you know will will be one so the game will start now we are saying that in the void update we are saying if it is not in view if not in view okay so restart the game and we what we are doing is uh, is in view function we are just uh, showing that uh, the player remain in the scene and it doesn't go off the scene if it uh, go off the scene the game just restarts and here we are saying if press any key then move and move is doing nothing but it just giving the or you can see it's uh, you know it is adding the force and since it is a rigid body when you just uh, stop pressing any key it will fall and sooner it will restart the game and then we have here a trigger and uh, a trigger saying if it passes through any object the game will restart <clears throat> and if it will restart the time dot time scale again will go to zero then this button will be false then do uh, <coughs> this uh, what you call do something to start with will appear and this application dot lower level you know this uh, scene will restart and uh, we have this update score which again is nothing but uh, keeping the score if it passes through the gaps between the those cubes the this score will increase and this score will be storing in this GUI we have here right about there to your uh, score label and then we have camera controller camera controller again is nothing it's just following the movement of the camera sorry the movement of the player just following the target which is being assigned here as the player and this temp time means how fast how slow the camera should move and uh, here we are saying that the camera should not move in the y-axis since we are just looking the y value of the camera again okay. and this is to randomly generate the cubes we are randomly generating the cubes here we are checking the next check and we are specifying a distance between objects uh, there uh, should be a uh, certain distance between each cube spawn and <clears throat> we are generating each cube with different sizes and after uh, once the cube uh, you know go out of the scene it destroys itself and another cube generates yes so again this is very simple game and from here you can modify you can you know you can change this little cube to uh, 
actual player you can change the hurdles the this cube which is coming on the way yeah this one you can change it to pipes whatever you want and uh, you can change the background you can have the particle effects uh, yeah this is the simple tutorial I just want to show because most of the most of the people were asking me to do a tutorial on flappy bird game so that is it and do subscribe to my channel so if you like this video do subscribe and also comments it will help me give your feedback please and thank you catch up you soon